Yo, what's up guys, new video talking about artifacts. And the reason I'm making this video is because we are going to have the SF and PC Abyss Dungeons pretty soon. I think it's SF at the end of August and PC at the end of the next month. So for that reason, it's pretty interesting to look at artifacts and where to use. I did make a video about how to farm artifacts and what artifacts to look for previously already. And I will be linking that in the description down below. And that one is a little bit older, but still very relevant. So what am I focusing on on this video? I'm going to be focusing on specifically going into each individual unit and calling out what artifact lines I recommend to go for the unit. I have a few things to keep in mind. Metas might change and therefore some units might be used a little bit differently. Um, I will be calling out if a unit is used in multiple places like Siege, RTA, Arena, Offense, Defense, uh, Dungeons, whatnot. I will be mentioning like the different things individually as well. I will be calling out left artifact and right artifact. The main reason for that is just easier than saying the type and the element every time. So element is the left, type is the right one, just to keep that in mind. And in general, a big disclaimer, it's often better to go for a multiple set of lines that are useful towards your unit, rather than just saying like, okay, I have a Lucian, I just go crit damage skill three, like the highest I have, and that is probably good to go. No, technically it's actually better to go for an artifact that has sudden crit damage S3, some attack increasing effect, and some additional damage from attack, for example, or crit damage max or something like that. How can you figure out for like most damage? Well, to be honest, it's just trial. But let's get into the video of this specific element and let's go through every unit. So I'm gonna press on this one to get the arrow up and I start from the top this way all the way to the bottom. I will not have timestamps in these videos, but you can kind of see where I am with the unit and then you can backtrace like, okay, if I just want to see for a specific unit, I have to go a little bit back or I have to go a little bit forward. I think that's the easiest way to navigate through whatever unit you want to look for specifically because I'm just going to click on the first unit and then go all the way through. And I will do that for each of the videos. Okay, so the next one is light. Once again, if you came from the fire one, I'm going to skip through units that are not meta relevant for light and dark. There's probably a bunch more that aren't really used. So that's skipping a little bit more. These videos do tend to take quite a breath of actually talking all the way through like 30 uh, minutes non-stop talking or even a little bit more than that. So definitely do appreciate it if you like this video and just subscribe to the channel. But let's look at the light units. So first prom not really used but could add some crit damage increases. Darian I could say a accuracy as one is definitely useful on him. Besides that I would definitely go for damage decreases against the element that you expect to be hit by. Shaolin is not really used at all, so I think we can just skip that one. Asher is a pretty interesting one. It can have a variety of different things. If you just build your Asher very tanky, very fast, I would go for additional damage by speed and HP. If you don't really have those, a recovery as two is pretty good. Speed increasing effect is pretty good. But what you can also do if your Asher is crit rate slot four to go crit damage skill three. So that's kind of the differences that you can make. You can also just go for a combination, even if your Asher is very fast and has the crit rate slot four, to still go additional damage by speed and HP, but also go for the crit damage skill three in this a little bit. As well. Shoot you and friends, I would just say recovery on all three skills, and then we go for, wait, does it recover on all three skills? It does recover on all three skills. So recovery throughout the board on all three skills, whatever you find the highest that is multiple lined. And then left side is whatever damage reduces you can find. Shren is pretty easy, it's just a crit damage skill too, crit damage is max, and then besides that maybe the uh, extra elemental damage on whatever you're trying to hit. Shaman is crit damage S2, and then afterwards the extra damage element of the thing that you're trying to hit, crit damage max is also not bad on him. Or not the crit damage that you want to hit, crit damage element that you want to hit, the elemental damage that you want to hit. You understand, don't worry. Baladion, uh, I would say... Accuracy S1, Recovery S3, Damage Reduces on the left side, Lucia is not used, Cherry is not used, Neil not used. This Homunculus kind of depends on which build you have, but I would go, if you have some debuffs, Accuracy to higher it up, if you have some Recoveries, Recoveries on that skill, and that's probably just it. Left side Artifacts are probably just some Damage Reducers in any kind of shape or way from like X Elements. Uh, I have no clue how to say Dias or something like that, but I would say that he has a lot of debuffs potentially land. Where are they exactly at? So they are in the S3. Mm. 
Okay, so accuracy S3 is a good thing, but you also want the accuracy S2. It's kind of weird, kind of weird in general. So probably it's just crit damage S2, crit damage increases, attack increasing effect, that kind of stuff. So then we have the light Ivor, light Ivor. I would probably say accuracy S1 because that can armor break and you do tend to get a lot of uh, turns with that. Accuracy S2 is also not bad. If you build it very fast, additional damage by speed is maybe also not that bad. I don't think people actually go for crit rate slot 4 on it, but if you have crit rate slot 4, maybe you can go some crit damage skill 2 or crit damage skill 1, or just crit damage increases in general at it as well. But I'm not entirely sure how this unit is built. Yeah, this is the Light Ezio, if I'm not mistaken, and this skill just does a lot of damage on the skill 3, and it's very important that your skill 3 does a lot of damage and actually instantly snipes. So therefore, skill 3 crit damage... Maybe additional damage on the specific element that you're expecting to hit and otherwise crit damage more. And if you use it with an attack uh, buffer, then you're going to go for attack increasing effect as well. Uh, Altar, I haven't really seen him being used all too much, but I would say crit damage skill 3, crit damage increases and then damage on the right element that you want to hit. Gavachi, I have no clue to be honest what this exactly does. And for artifacts, a lot of the artifacts don't really make too much sense on this unit, I would say. So for this unit, you cannot really go for maybe just additional damage artifacts. That's probably the only thing that actually kind of makes sense. That or damage reductions, because crit damage is not going to help this thing. Accuracy is not going to help this thing. So this uh, this thing actually has like one of the worst artifacts potential, actually. Adri actually always has defense buff up. So for that reason, I would definitely go defense increasing effect. Afterwards, additional damage by defense is maybe an option, but I think just crit damage as one and accuracy as one is higher value. But definitely go for that defense increasing effect. And if you use it into specific elements only, then go for that specific elemental damage. Ariana, I don't think she's ever really used, but just probably recovery as one is two left side artifact damage reduces. Veronica, I definitely do recommend people to max out the accuracy already in the build itself. If you don't, I definitely want to go for accuracy as three. And afterwards, it's just additional damage by speed, HP, and attack. Shun, I'm not too sure about in all honesty, but I would say something along the lines of crit damage is up in any kind of shape or way, and just go from there. Probably he is max crit rate, I would say. So, it does this thing actually need to land? I do think, wait, this thing does need to land. So, in that case, you could also go for accuracy S2. Accuracy S2 is actually pretty important if this thing needs to land. Benedict, I do think that you want to add as much crit damage kind of stuff to him as possible. Does it actually, this goes below, okay. I think that you want to go for crit damage max so you can get earlier into this passive range. So that's definitely an important factor as well. So crit damage max, crit damage S2, and then whatever crit damage increases you can find or damage increases you can find. Ella, I would just say you have recovery on the just S1, S2, and S3 don't recover. So recovery as one left side damage reduce whatever element you expect to be hit by daniel i'm not too sure i probably you want to max out the accuracy in the build itself if you don't have that you want to go for a combination line of accuracy of having accuracy let's say 10 in all three lines and then you make him 75 accuracy to have it fixed that way left side artifact i would just say damage reduces if you already have enough accuracy on the right side probably still addition or like defense by lost hp or something like that some damage increases or uh, some defense increases because damage increases are not going to do much for him dorothy is just all about crit damage skill 3 crit damage max and damage on specific element same a recovery skill 3 very important is actually the only artifact that really makes sense for recovery s3 you could go accuracy s1 doesn't really help too much left side artifact is just damage reduces or maybe even speed from lost hp greg i would say that you could go attack increasing effect or speed increasing effect or if you have some crit rate crit damage on him, like adding in with this. If he does have a lot of HP, you could also go additional damage from speed and HP. Talisman is all about the S3, so crit damage S3, but also attack increasing effect because he has the solo boost attack increasing. And then besides that, crit damage max because it's definitely just a nuker and then damage on right ally. Humble is all about the S3 as well, so once again, crit damage skill 3, crit damage max, attack increasing effect and damage on the right element. Nasha is a little bit different because you can go for accuracy S3 because the defense break and the strip is in the S3 if I'm not mistaken. No, just the defense break. But the strip is in the S2. So yeah, I would definitely actually go for some... Well, what you can do is a speed increasing effect. That definitely does help her a bit because her S2 is also speed increasing on the, um, or extra damage by speed. 
And then afterwards, you just want to add more crit damage, just damage on right elements. Maybe similar to what I said for Theomars, get one of those elemental damage things of saying like, okay, I have like 10 on fire, 10 on water, 10 on wind, and then maybe like five on light as well. And then that kind of artifact that has a combination that you can do damage to a little bit of everything. Right set artifacts, crit damage increases, Aki increases, that kind of stuff. Lucifer, I would just say straight up crit damage S2, especially for arena offense. No, wait, are you a crit damage S2? Um, yeah, I guess so. Crit damage S2. In, if you use them in dungeons, left side artifact is not a crit damage increase, but damage against that specific element. Geldnir is recovery S3, accuracy S1. Left side is simply damage reduces against the element that you expect to be hit by. Volantis, I would recommend to build Volantis in a way where his accuracy is 85. If his accuracy is not 85, I would max out the accuracy on the S3 with 85. Afterwards, I would say additional damage from beat, HP, and then attack in that kind of sense. Jean, I would say recovery as one, maybe accuracy as one. The left side is just pure on damage reduces on any kind of shape or way. Eleanor, recovery is on the S2, if I'm not mistaken. It is, right? Yeah, it's kind of a mediocre recovery, but that is the recovery to go for. Left side artifacts, just damage reduced. Celia, you can definitely go for accuracy S2, crit damage S1, especially if you build her on some decent crit rate, I would go for that crit damage S1. Left side artifact, you could still go for extra crit damage in that kind of uh, way. Otherwise, well, there's not too many interesting things to her, so I just add more crit damage to her. And if you don't have any crit rate on her, then just damage reducers. Tian Lang, I would recommend to have Tian Lang as high as possible on your accuracy as well. If he's not a max accuracy uh, towards 85, then I would go accuracy S2 to make it close to 85 or uh, 85 actually by minimum. Afterwards, I would go for additional damage artifacts by HP and by speed. And then maybe by defense if there's a little bit left over. But that's... It's mainly the HP and the speed where you do most additional damage from on Tian Lang. Overall, it's all about the crit damage skill 3, crit damage max, attack increasing effect if you use it next to an attack buffer. And that is just pretty much about it. Maybe the damage on right element, but if you don't know the element, just more crit damage, more is never bad. Wedget is recovery as 3 for sure. You could have some accuracy as 1 and then afterwards it's just all kinds of damage reduced because he doesn't do damage by himself. You could say that you put some additional damage by speed defense hp on the left side but i think a damage reducer is most likely more interesting for him isis once again one of those units if you do not have max accuracy max out the accuracy but get an artifact that has a little bit of everything that probably helps out more left side artifact is just damage reducers if you have right side artifact if you already have max accuracy just go for some damage reduces there in the sense of like crit damage reduction or something like that as well. Pontus is definitely for accuracy S2. Besides that, on the left side, you want to go for any kind of damage reducer that you can find. El Sharion, I would definitely say uh, crit damage S2, crit damage S1, crit damage is max, crit damage is low, anything kind of crit damage increases. And that's pretty much all there is for El Sharion. You could say that you want to have some accuracy S2, S3 as well, if that's pretty low for you. Eleanoa is probably accuracy S2 if it's not maxed. Afterwards, I would probably say additional damage by speed and HP because she doesn't have too many interesting lines, but she has the uh, potential to cycle a lot of skills and then still do it getting quite some. Nigon is very simple. Recovery S2 and left side, you could go either damage reducers or damage on specific elements up. Yan Hong, you could go for Recovery S3, but her Recovery S3 is pretty strong already. So I would rather go for Crit Damage S2. Accuracy S2 is a very nice option as well. And Left Side Artifact, I would still go for Crit Damage Increases, or you could even go for Additional Damage by Speed, HP, and Attack, and then just to have a combination thing of that. If you don't have her own Crit Rate, you definitely do want to go for this Additional Damage by Speed, HP, and Attack. If she is crit rate, I think crit damage probably, well, com I would go for a combination line of like some crit damage and then some additional damage by stuff. Asuma, I would definitely go for additional damage by speed, HP, and attack. Now wait, by speed, attack, and HP in that order. Or you could go for accuracy S3 of her S3 accuracy is not that high. The S3 accuracy is the most important. S2 accuracy is a little bit less important because S3, you actually get attack bar for everything that you land. So... The higher accuracy you are for your S3, the better it is. Shazam, probably recovery S2. Besides that, I don't think he does too much damage. So you could go for accuracy S3 as one. But uh, S1 is actually not bad because it defense breaks. So accuracy S1, recovery S2. 
Besides that, I would go for left side damage reducers because I don't think you put any crit damage to it. Artemil, I would definitely go for counter damage, defense increasing effect, and crit damage as one. If you have a good combination of those three lines on your artifacts, your Artemil will start to deal a lot of damage. You could say recovery as two, but I would rather focus him on more damage than recovery as two. Chitian the Shung, well, similar as some of the other units, I would recommend to have max accuracy on this unit. But the right side artifact is somewhat useless if you already have max accuracy. So try to find an artifact that maybe has like 10, 10, 10 for all three different skills. And then make it 75 and have your monkey maxed out that way. Left side artifact, I would probably aim for damage reducers. You could also tend to put some crit rate to him and then try to make him some damage. Because he skills with HP, if you put some crit rate for him, maybe you can add him some crit damage runes. But I think it doesn't really do too Jaeger is just crit damage on the S2, and that is pretty much all there is to it. But Jaeger is not used as much, but just crit damage increases. Maybe crit damage on a specific, or damage on a specific element. Laura, I would definitely go for accuracy on the S3 and S2 if they're not maxed yet. If they are maxed, I would 100% go for additional damage by speed, HP, and defense in that order. Because Laura S3 is tending to do a lot of damage because you get the speed buff, defense buff before you're hit. So therefore your additional damage by speed, defense will do a lot and her HP is just high, very high on the base. So that definitely helps out. But I would recommend to make her like max accuracy on the build itself so you can focus on those additional damage artifacts afterwards. Lima, I would definitely go for additional damage artifacts as well. Combination of everything, of aiming for uh, first speed, then HP, then attack, then defense. And you could go for some Accuracy S2. Do not go for Recovery S3. This thing doesn't work, as mentioned before as well. And that is pretty much all there is for Lyma. Just a lot of additional damage artifacts. Julian is for sure crit damage S2 focused. Besides that, uh, speed lost HP is definitely not bad for him as well. You could have a little bit of life drain in there, but I don't think it's that interesting. And left side artifact, similar as some of the other units, if you have an artifact that has a little bit of damage on everything, so maybe like 10 on uh, light, 10 on dark, 10 on water, 10 on wind, and then, yeah, just that. If you have an artifact like that, it's probably very high value for Julian because you don't know exactly what you're going to hit. Or maybe once you know, it's like, oh, I always draft Julian into this, then go for a higher damage artifact on that specific element. Um, Jean, for left side artifact, pretty much the same thing as I just said for Julian, just extra damage on that specific thing. Otherwise, you just go for crit damage max, I would say. Right side artifact, If you, I would definitely go for a high accuracy S3 and then some added in crit damage S2. The main reason is that you don't want to aim too much accuracy on this unit and he already has accuracy base so that's pretty nice but if you can make that towards like let's say 65 and you add in a 20 the s3 is max and then the rest you can all focus on the crit damage which eludia same thing if you want to uh, you want to max out that accuracy s3 towards like 85 afterwards just try to add more damage with like crit damage is max attack increasing effects damage on x element that kind of stuff so Wrath is all crit damage S3 and afterwards uh, crit damage more. That, that's just simply at it, at it. If you use them against specific elements only, then damage on it. Akroma, I would definitely go for accuracy S2, crit damage S2, because that's where her high value comes from her uh, things in general. Left side artifact, you could maybe go for like one of those artifacts, multiple damage lines on all kinds of elements, and then have her weight that way if you don't know exactly what you will be hitting with her. Danu, I don't really know this unit too much, but has a lot of additional hits, so additional damage by attack, HP, speed, probably in that order. This one is really not used as well, so I think this unit is also really crap, so let's just skip it. Uh, this unit is, in my opinion, also pretty crap, if I'm not mistaken, so let's just skip those two as well. This thing I've also never seen being used, so I actually have no clue. It silences maybe some accuracy on the S3. I don't know, don't really expect this one to be used, neither for the light. Well, this espresso can be used from time to time. I would max out the accuracy on the S3 afterwards, just go for damage increases, and that's pretty much it for this cookie. Never seen this one being used as well, so it does recover on the S2, doesn't it? Yeah, so recovery S2, that's probably about it. Madeline is not really used, let's skip. This robo, not really used, skip. Kinky, definitely used. Same as what I said for Fuki and Suiki. You can definitely add in the speed, HP, and defense by lost HP. They have pretty high value. Accuracy as one has pretty high value. But for Kinky, it's also not too bad value to have damage on specific elements. And for Kinky, it's also not bad to have additional damage by attack, 
speed and hp just a little bit of combination in that that he starts doing more chip damage even while he while being like pretty tanky for example leia is all about crit damage skill too but also attack increasing effect speed increasing effects not too bad on her crit damage max crit damage low anything that adds more crit damage and then damage on specific element in most cases if you use her in arena offense it's going to be uh water because abelios camillas that kind of stuff this unit i don't really see being used all too much at all so let's just skip Dongbeak, uh, damage reduces both left and right, you could say. No, just damage reduces, that's all there is for this unit. Never used, but I guess accuracy as one, as two, and damage reduces on this unit as well. Amelie, additional damage by attack kind of stuff, I would say. Also not really used too much. Magnum, I think it's mainly used for the S2, so crit damage S2 is the way to go. Crit damage max if you use it as a counter against something that gets like full attack bar, that kind of stuff. So I guess so. This unit never really used. Valeria, I guess recovery S2, recovery S2, left side damage reducers. Bailey, same thing as all of the other twins. Co op damage is the main important thing. Shinji does have attack power increase. You can go attack increasing effect on her and then afterwards just crit damage, this kind of stuff. Deva, kind of same thing. You want to go for as much co op damage as possible and then probably damage on the right element and that kind of stuff. Tablo, definitely if you do not have high accuracy, I would recommend accuracy S2. But since S1 also needs some accuracy, I would recommend to fix some accuracy in the build. And then just go high on additional damage by speed, HP, attack and defense on this unit. Dova is just used for the boost, so it doesn't really care that much about artifacts. But I would recommend to go some damage reduces for him in general. Misty, not really used, but anything and damage increasing effect. Or no, wait, I would go additional damage kind of stuff. So additional damage by speed, HP, that kind of stuff. Don't really think the units is great. Armana is probably recovery S3 and then a accuracy S1, S2, and then crit damage is up, but very loaded unit or very loaded kit, but very low base stats, and therefore the unit is not that great. Iliana is probably just all about additional damage by speed, HP, and defense because the other things don't really do too much for her. You could say some accuracy as one could be useful. Lucas, one of those units, once again, has the built-in attack buff. So definitely attack increasing effect helps a lot. Afterwards, just crit damages on like own skills um, and the extra damage on the right element that you're hitting. Natalie is also not really used at all, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to skip her. Iris, recovery S3 is definitely useful. If you want to go accuracy, you, you kind of have to go accuracy S3, maybe accuracy S2. But probably you want to fix accuracy in the build itself and afterwards I would go additional damage by speed, HP, attack and defense in that order. Molly is just all about recovery as 3. After the recovery as 3 you could add in act as 1 to land this skill more often. Still not really that great but I would go for damage reduces and speed lost HP. Brick is probably just adding more damage in. It's mainly if you will use him it's probably about this prevent targets from receiving beneficial effects. So accuracy as 3 might help afterwards damage increases on crit damage max, crit damage own skills and then damage on the right element. Mirmir Mir is also definitely for those crit damage up on like all kinds of skills. Crit damage skill 3 helps but crit damage max, crit damage uh, min, first skill crit damage. I think this is one of the better units for first skill crit damage. Crit damage own skill definitely does help and then if you use it against a specific element you could go for damage on that right element too. Guadam is just damage reduces both left side and right side and that's pretty much just it for Guadam. Dover, uh, bomb damage uh, in general and accuracy as two if it's not maxed. Gemini, I would say that you would have to fix the accuracy in the build itself because you have two different skills that have accuracy checks. You could say once again, I go for a 10 and a 10 and then I make him 75 and therefore both of them are 85. Afterwards, the most interesting thing for him is probably additional damage by speed, HP, and attack in that order. Leo May kind of depends on the build. If you're low on accuracy, fix the accuracy mainly for the S3. I think that's the most important one. If you have a high crit rate build and not that much crit damage, you definitely want to go for crit damage increases. If you build are very tanky and slow, and uh, or if you build are very tanky with a lot of stats in general, you can go for these additional damage artifacts in speed, HP, attack, and defense in that order. It kind of depends what you need. In most cases, if she's she's not really build damage, but just super fast, go for those additional damages in speed and HP, I would say. Tosi not really used too much, but I would say crit damage as 3, crit damage as 4, attack increasing effect, crit damage as max, and then also damage on right element. 
health pass. Not really used too much these days anymore because it's kind of hard counted. He is pretty decent for additional damage artifacts for HP and defense because his passive also tends to do more damage that way. So you drain more HP and therefore you, uh, you heal a little bit more HP. And also for the S2, it also has multi-hits, S1 has multi-hits, so that kind of helps. And left side artifact, you probably want to do damage reduces of whatever you expect half us to be hit by. Conrad, not really used. Pang, damage increases, maybe some accuracy increases, but damage increases. Chris, damage increases mainly for S2, S3. Crit damage is max, definitely help with that as well, I would say. Uh, Iona is just all about the recovery S2. Left side artifact is damage reduces. This thing is not used, this thing not used. Jin uh, damage increases, crit damage is max. Crit damage is on whatever skill, crit damage on the right element. Figaro, uh, you could say once again, accuracy as two as three, um, but get a combination to where it, it's 85 or as close to 85 as possible. Left side artifact, I would probably go for damage reducers or maybe the bomb damage, but this bomb damage is never going to be that much though. Area not really used. Mihil is recovery as three, damage reduces left side. This skill does it stun so and put the cooldown so accuracy as two is pretty useful too. Aridas, I could say crit damage increases, but also since you have multi hits on both skills, you can go for additional damage by attack, speed, and HP in that order, and that will help out with a bit of damage too. Ikasha not really used too much, but I would probably say some. Curious as two, that's probably it. Chemi, I would definitely go for additional damage by attack and HP and speed in her. And that is pretty much just it. Then we go into the net threes, which are not really used all too much. Oh, we have Lauren, of course. Lauren, um, max out the accuracy if you need it. Otherwise, I would just go for additional damage artifacts of speed, HP, attack, and defense in that order. If you do have some crit rate towards uh, Laura, you can also go for crit damage as max, crit damage as low, that kind of stuff. Fren, uh, probably recovery S3, but also attack increasing effect is pretty useful there because her S2 also skills with attack power and her S3 also skills with attack power. So that definitely does help a little bit as well. Left side artifact, you could go for um, damage reduces, but you could also for go for attack increasing effects and speed increasing effect. Or no, wait, additional damage by speed, attack, and HP in that order, and just add a little bit of uh, damage to her that way. Um, in most cases, since she has very low base defense, you do want to aim for um, artifacts that have the defense base. Let's see if any of these other units are kind of used. Well, we have Pami in the game right now, which can be used, and it's kind of similar as Chris. You just go for damage increases. But to be honest, uh, I saw a lot of videos being like, oh, I'm so hyped about Fami. Femi is not really crazy good. It has a very unique um, lead. But besides that, the damage output that she has is nothing greater than any of like the, the normal things that we already had. Plus, she doesn't do any damage by enemy max HP. But there is some odds that they release her right now. And the next balance patch she will be addressed to also become pretty good. So definitely keep in mind that you might want to build this at a later moment. Then we have Lin. Lin is just everything about crit damage max, crit damage skill 3, crit damage single target, crit damage first skill, and also damage on the right element, anything to increase the damage for Lin. And I think with that, we pretty much had all units rest are all 2As or not really used. Well, we have, oh, we actually have a few of them. Uh, this thing, recovery as 3, simple as that. Kabila is accuracy as 1, but also additional damage by speed, attack, and uh, well, pretty much just speed and attack. That definitely does help out too. And with that, that was everything for light. So once again, pretty lengthy video, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a thing or two and see you in the dark one or see you in a different video.